Hello, Slaw welcome guys, and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim, and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So, basically, this video is on how to upgrade your Mac OS X Hi Sarah or Mac OS 10 Hi Sarah to 10.13.4. So, right now I'm using 10.13.2, and I don't recommend this update to any of the people around who are using NVIDIA graphics card. The most stable and most uh, optimized version of high Sierra for NVIDIA cards is limited to 10.13.2 you cannot upgrade to 10.13.3 that's a pain in the ass and if you upgrade to 10.13.4 it's less but it's still in pain in the ass so I will not recommend any of you with the NVIDIA cards to go to 10.13.4 but still if have someone has curiosity and think that the NVIDIA ones will work better than others you can go and try it but for AMDs and Intel ones, they can upgrade easily. So there are four basic things you have to upgrade before you ha go to the high Sierra 10.13.4. The first thing, you have to update your APFS file system. Apple has updated their APFS file system, so you should do it as well. So the first thing first, we will open our Clover Configurator as always, the masterpiece of all the Hackintosh. And I thank Clover for this as well, and I really appreciate their efforts in it. So we mount our uh, EFI partition and then we go to when we go to home again and we say open the partition. Once we have opened the partition, we go to EFI, Clover, and here in driver U64 EFI, we copy this .EFI file here. So remember, I will upload whole of this folder into the my drive and i will name it 10.13.4 all you need so people ask me which folder do i have to access basically i link all the folders in just one folder so anyone who is new to my channel got to know that there are a couple of different software available and support available and it's easier to have one link rather than 15 or 20 links for everything so even though having more links is more beneficial for me i can add more advertisement to it but still I prefer one link. The first thing you have to do is you have to copy the apfs.efi file to your EFI folder. So I have already uploaded the folder and you have to copy this from there to here. And you have to replace it. And the second thing is you have to copy this new fake SMC into your kext folder of EFI drive and then you go to kext and i will prefer just install everything in 10 uh, others folder it's simpler and it's easier and it's a more efficient way to do so so copy the fake smc into the fa other folder of your efi partition folder and that's it so that's the two things you are you have to do and the third thing you have to do is for your usb 3.0 fix so as i read in the online uh, details uh, i read that they have changed the part uh, USB uh, CAC schemes, so you have to add a new CAC patch to fix your USB 3.0 and 3.1. So you have to go to your config, and here you have to go in kernel CACs and patches, and there you have to add this thing. So this is a weird long thing, and I will add this in the description below. This is a hex you have to enter to get your USB working on 10.13.4 and right now you will see I'm using 10.13.2 because I already told you this is such a laggy update but anyways for those who are using AMD or Intel or someone who with Nvidia wants to test it you can go with this and you have to do this with your USB so I will add this in the description below so don't worry about that and that's all you have to do for the update settings and then you can just close this and uh, you can already download the web drivers for 10.13.4 so in just in case uh, you have you get the drivers already there and you don't need to do anything for your audio if you're using the voodoo or if you're using apple realtek or apple hda and that uh, that still works without any modification and after that you can just update using app store or you can download a combo update from the apple website and this update is quite uh, different it it does not just 
restart once it restarts twice and it does a lot of different things than normal update and after this update you will be able to get the gpu usage like right here you can see cpu history and here in windows you cannot see any of the gpu usage but with this update you get a gpu usage as well because nvidia has added the ability to use graphic card and external graphic card so they have luckily added graphic card monitor for you so that's the first thing ever nvidia gave to monitor your gpus even the external one or the internal one i really like that but due to some rubbish kind of nvidia graphic support i just back up to 10.13.2 but just to let you know that there is a new gpu monitor in 10.13.4 and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching and i hope you liked the video if you liked it then like share and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you want to help me more then do the favor on patreon support me on patreon and that would be really great and if you want me to make regular videos then please help me through patreon and by watching the youtube videos that's all for this video guys thanks for watching thanks again and until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.